Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you along our grocery haul. So my first stop is I'm at our local meat store. So we go here about once a month. Sometimes it's every six weeks. Kind of just depends on how much I stock up whenever I go. So we actually are at the point where we are completely out of meat, y'all. Not a good place to be. I don't like getting down to the to nothing. But we had a storm that rolled in, so it kind of pushed back, you know, the way that we do things. But anyways, getting out here and hopefully I am able to get what I need. If not, you know, I'll make another trip. Not a big deal. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jessica and this is a Fueled School House. So we are a large family. We have 11 children and I share everything from, you know, our grocery hauls to homeschool, how we, you know, manage, make that work and just kind of like our day in the life type videos. Um, we are happy to have you. So I'm going to take y'all along our grocery shopping. My first stop is to come in here. Like I said, hopefully get the meat for the month. I don't you know what it's going to look like. We had that big storm that rolled in. So hopefully places have restocked it. Walmart has been out of milk and bread and some of the, you know, just staples. So grocery shopping is looking a little bit different this month, but that is okay. I'm going to head on in. Okay, back at the truck. I'm just gonna show you what I got right here because it's really not a lot. So they did not have the amount of chicken that I normally get. So I will have to come back at some point. Um, but I was able to get, I think six packs of chicken. All right, so here is six packs of chicken. And then I got 10 packs of ground beef. So all that will just immediately go in the freezer once I get home. And then y'all, I told you I came right after church. I'm starving. I haven't bought their lunch meat. I think I did a long time ago. Anyways, I got two packs of turkey and cheese, and I am totally going to make a turkey and cheese roll-up, like right now, because mama's hungry. And then in this bag, I just have two small packs of raspberries and blackberries. Sorry, I'm not like pulling everything out. And then look at how nice these are. I got a pack of zucchini and squash, and y'all, it was killing me to buy those. I did replant some in my garden, so we will have a second wave, but I want to make a couple recipes that have zucchini and squash in it. And then I got a bag of carrots down there. And then in here, I got a bag of oranges and a bag of lemons. Nathan likes to have lemon water. This yes, turkey and cheese is really good. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little unprofessional. I probably should have just waited and um, did the grocery haul whenever I got home. I thought this would be easier. Don't know if it was, but I didn't. I don't get a ton of stuff here. Mostly our meat. Um, my next stop, I will probably do a grocery pickup order. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Peyton's birthday. I will do it on Tuesday. All right, I'm getting ready to leave to go pick up our Walmart grocery order. Before I do that and show you the rest of our groceries, I was gonna tell y'all our meal plan. So the first thing that we're gonna have is chicken taquitos. That is the request that Peyton made for her birthday dinner. And then the next thing is sloppy joes and I will make stuffed peppers with a sloppy joe mix. For Nathan and I, we are easing our way into a low carb, trim healthy mama diet. Um, and the next thing is chicken pot pie and then beef and zucchini. It's kind of like a stir fry just with um, ground beef and things like taco seasoning. Um, it looks really good. I'm actually really excited to try it. And then the next thing, so that's a new recipe for us, is sausage and peppers. I'm really feeling like the peppers and stir fry type meals this month. <laughs> and then the last meal that I have on my list is our Italian chicken that we have had, you know, I've shared with y'all many times, but it is my go-to. Um, and it makes great for leftovers as well. So all these groceries that y'all will see last us about two weeks. Um, but I do go into the store every week for more milk. Um, things that we run out of often, you know, cheese, anything else that we might need on hand. But mainly for milk and fresh produce and fruit. Like, I can't keep enough of that on hand. And it seems like, you know, whenever you buy extra, it ends up going bad. We also live in Florida. And it's very humid here. And so the produce doesn't tend to stay good that long heading out the door and then i'll show you what i got at walmart i did a walmart grocery pickup order first thing this morning i'm going to show you everything that is on this table so we do have a few different things as well and i will explain that um so first off we got two things of eggs look here's a baby doll y'all <laughs> oh, put that up in the toy bin 
Okay, so here's one of the different items. Is I got a few, it's not all put together though, a few packages of gluten-free pasta. I am gonna do Trim Healthy Mama. I know that this isn't exactly Trim Healthy Mama on, on plan, but I need some pasta every once in a while. So that's kind of just a once in a while item for me. Um, so I got some Better Than Bouillon, the beef, got Rotel, sunflower kernels. I'm gonna make a, like a keto crunch bar for dessert for me because that's one of the things y'all know I like my dark chocolate. So um, that I will be making for me to snack on. So I got, I think six cans of pinto beans. I actually went to the store the other day and got like 10 cans and we used, I think six of them. So I do have some in my pantry. It takes five cans of pinto beans for us to make refried beans. So, all right, got some dark chocolate there. And Peyton was helping me set up the table and she laughed because she was like, you got two of everything, mom. And I kind of did. <laughs> so I got two bags of tortilla chips, two bags of veggie straws. We have co-op starts on Monday, y'all. So I wanted to get, you know, have some stuff on hand to pack for snacks and lunches. Two bags of pretzels, two things, or no, sorry, three things of peppers. Here's some more gluten-free pasta for me. I had, I thought I got two packages of these. Huh. Oh, <laughs> right there. Goodness, y'all. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay, so white cheddar Cheez-Its. The kids helped me set up the table so it's not completely all together, which is fine. Um, two things of the whale goldfish. I'll put those up. That is for packing for co-op. Um, two things of yellow rice. Two things of animal crackers. Four boxes of rice pilaf. Uh, the regular Cheez-Its. Wheat Thins. Story of my life, y'all. Camden saw these and he wanted some when we were setting them up. So two boxes of chicken and biscuit crackers, club crackers. Got some peanut butter crackers down here. Where's the clear tea? Um, there's some in my room on the shelf. Um, two things of peanut butter, one thing of jelly. And then I got two things of flour. See, almost everything's in twos. Okay, so I got some of these wasa crackers to kind of do like cheese and crackers with some turkey on it for, you know, doing from Healthy Mama. Got four things of Greek yogurt. That's one thing that I'm really bad about, y'all, is eating breakfast. But I can eat one of these in the mornings, and those are full of protein. And um, we needed some more kid shampoo. Two things of cream cheese. I got cottage cheese for a snack or breakfast for me sour cream, and then one thing of A2 milk, one of our kids needs that, and three things of regular milk, and then granola bars, you know, for the kiddos, so I got three boxes of the chocolate chips and one of the peanut butter chocolate chip, two yellow onions, two red onions, we got grapes, bananas, whenever I went to the store the other day and had to just get a handful of items, I got a bunch of bananas then, so I didn't need as many. We got green apples. I've got two bags of red apples over here. Some fresh spinach, some shredded lettuce. I got two things of taquitos. Those are just good to have in the freezer, you know, for easy lunch, snack, dinner. Um, two things of block cheese of Colby Jack. And then I got a thing of kielbasa. This is not what I thought that I ordered though. But so a couple times now I have made sausage and peppers over rice and Nathan and several of the kids actually liked it so that is you know just an easy quick dinner to have all right I got sliced cheese there mozzarella cheese feta cheese <laughs> laughing cow cheese we're apparently in the cheese section um two things of these toaster hash browns I think that's what they're called right the patties um the kids like to have those for breakfast sometimes so various frozen vegetables California mix my thought was you know I could have that as a side because my kids don't like cauliflower. Nathan doesn't either. Um, four bags of mixed vegetables for, you know, different meals that I do. Two bags of frozen broccoli. Two bags of green beans. And then two things of strawberries. And I do believe, is that all? Did I say these? I think I did. I think I said the words out. So that is it. So I had every intentions of making it to Sam's Club and showing y'all you know, our Sam's Club haul in this grocery haul video, but y'all life is, it's just busy and I have not had the time to go to Sam. So Nathan's going to end up going on his day off and then I'm going to have him show y'all what he got and that'll be in a separate vlog. So be on the lookout for that. So I'm going to end this grocery haul video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, seeing, you know, whenever I go to the meat market, kind of what that looks like. And then also a Walmart grocery pickup. We are still in need of some items like the bigger items, toilet paper, 
um, baby wipes are the things that we buy from Sam. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video.